Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a CPU fan replacement on this HP Pavilion 24 inch. Let me show you the model number. What you want to do is you want to flip to the back. On the stand, you can see that it says model 24K0024 and this is the HP Pavilion 24 inch all-in-one PC. So if your HP computer looks like mine, exact, exactly like this, and I'll show you the back and how it looks like. Hopefully you can follow along with the video and get your CPU fan replacement or maybe upgrade your RAM or change out your hard drive. All right, so the first thing I like to do is to turn it back, flip it back to the front. At the front of the computer, at the lower bar here, you can see like where the speaker is supposed to be here. And this here, you can just remove it by pulling it apart. So what I do is I use my fingernail, go underneath, and I start pulling it apart. There's no screws or anything that holds onto this. They are pretty much a clipper that clips on. So if you put enough pressure to pry it open, it will just come straight up. And once you remove that plastic cover, the next step we like to do is to remove the three screws. There's one here on the left, one in the middle, and there's one on the right side of it. Once you remove all the three screws, the next step I would like to explain to you is to remove the cable. So there are three cables you need to remove. This is the small one. This little small cable has a cl clipper on it. So what you want to do is to press the clipper and pull it straight up. This is the middle cable and I'm using my two fingernail and lift it straight up. Okay, and this is the LCD cable. There's a safety clipper here which is the black color. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, it's kind of hard to show it to you, but the, the, black, the black clipper is right here on both sides. It's a straight clipper. You just want to lift it up. It doesn't disconnect. You can just only loosen up the, the clipper. Once you lift it straight up, and then the, the LCD cable will just come straight off. Now the next step I like to do is to uh, pry open the LCD screen. So there's no screw or anything that holds onto it besides the three screws where we just removed it earlier. So the rest of the screen, what you need to do is just pry it open. So I'm using a prying tool and I pry on the side of the screen and slowly lift it up. You may hear some cracking noise. That is okay because the clipper is making the, those noises, okay? Once you remove the screen, this is your entire motherboard and this is the fan that I'm planning to replace. Let's go ahead and remove the CPU fan. Three screws remove, and then this is the CPU connector. You can put a connector straight up, and here is the CPU fan. Now, what happened to my fan is that the ball bearing is scraping, while well, the ball bearing is not even. So when the blade spin and the ball bearing is not even, it makes the blade scraping the metal. So every time when I turn on the computer, I can hear this little buzzing noise, like the fan is scraping the metal. Uh, that is what is happening. So I bought a new fan here and we're doing a replacement for that. So if you're interested where to buy the fan from, what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below and you can go ahead and check out the link and that will direct you to either Amazon or eBay for this project, the repair for the CPU fan.
All right, so once you have all the three screws installed, the CPU fan is good to go. I'm going to do a quick tour for you. Uh, this is the DDR4 RAM. If you're planning to upgrade, you can only upgrade to a larger DDR4 RAM. This is your CPU, and this is your entire motherboard. It's pretty simple and straightforward, and that's what it looks like in your HP screen. Uh, HP all-in-one. All right, so I'm going to put the screen back. What I'll do is I'll try to slide all the way to the top left and top right corner. So you want to align the screen on the very edge of the top. And once you have it in the right position, go ahead and rest it down. And I'll gently press the screen on the side. And you can hear that clicking noise, which is normal, meaning that the clipper is going to clip back onto the base. Now the next step I like to do is to connect the uh, LCD screen. Make sure that safety pin black clipper is open. Slide the screen cable back in. Make sure you push it all the way in. And once it's in, go ahead and press that clipper on both sides to clamp it down and secure the connection. Once that is done, go ahead and do the middle part, which is the second cable here in the middle. Go ahead and make sure you align it in the right position and press it down to secure that. And last but not least, the final small tiny cable. Do the same thing, secure the cable by pressing it down. Now, the remaining things that we need to do is to put the screws back in. There are three screws. And that is the final screws. Now, once you have all the screws installed, we are pretty much all done. The next step is to put the uh, the cover back on, the speaker cover. So it's a clip clip on. You just kind of press it down, and that's all you need to do. So hopefully, this tutorial helps you to do a CPU fan replacement. If you feel like um, the video is helpful, do not forget to press the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you for supporting the channel. And uh, if you have any question, comment below. And at the same time, let me know how did you do? Were you able to follow along with the repair or not? So I'd like to hear from you. Until next time, take care. Bye.